there. Little hard drive. going into the case and up on top there. <clears throat> Important thing to do on any of these laptops, if you ever take them apart, any laptop, take anything part of it, anything out of it, see how that one's nice and long, the screw holds short. Told you, keep track of them. Um, look at it. Really, really look at it before you take it apart. Um, even better, go through and do research on it. I haven't bothered to research this one because it looks damn near identical to a DV uh, 7000, which I have taken apart numerous times due to one customer who consistently managed to break his power jack. And I was glad to have me fix it each time. So you're asking, how the heck do you break a power jack? Well, number one reason I've seen, people will set their laptop really firmly against a wall. Or you know, like on the sofa, you'll set it down. You got the weight of the laptop, and you got the sofa which gives in. If your power jack is this here, and your sofa's like that, weight of your laptop's pushing it down. Your power jack, you got this here, it's going in. You got all this weight pushing up on it, so it's just going to snap. Duh, common sense, but apparently people don't think about their poor, poor laptop. They just want it to perform magic and never complain. Uh, another great reason that if you have a Macintosh, you can sit back and smile now because any of the new Macintoshes have a uh, what they call the mag connector where if you either yank your cord really hard somebody trips over the cord um, oh let's see what else could happen uh, you sat on a sofa <laughs> at a really weird angle and the cord has a bunch of pressure on it it doesn't break the power jack it doesn't snap it the cord just nice and easily comes right out. And I'm going to go ahead and take this panel off since I've got to tilt it. Get the tilt the whirl on it. <clears throat> I just had some solder fall out of this. That's not a good sign. Little tiny piece. Teeny tiny piece. But keep that in mind because if you gotta go through and in my case fix these things. Knowing that a piece of solder just came out and you go and open up the power connector, <laughs> you see that power jack looks perfectly fine. That little piece of solder could have been your problem. Or it could be another connector that failed in there. Okay, we go that. As you can't guess, by my little 
tower screws. Can you even see that right here? Yeah, not really. There's there's a lot of screws there. <laughs> and they're all different sizes. I mean, I would be absolutely confused as to what order those screws would go in if I did not stand them up like this. And we sigh because we gotta tilt it up again. Let it fall down. And I got some wild hair going on. Obviously, I'm not keeping them exactly spaced out the same. That'd be a little wasteful of table top space. But point is to keep them pretty much in relation to each other. Another thing I'm noticing on these screws is there's a little bit of fuzz on each one. I'm not really too sure what the deal is with that fuzz. Hopefully it's just dust. It looks a little bit different than most dust I've seen. thing I have noticed so far is that this computer has a wireless card built into it. Or at least to see the marker for one and a little button for it. But I don't see a wireless card in here. So it's probably going to be under the keyboard or hopefully go right to the screen. And don't lose your screws either. <laughs> That'll piss you off. That'll piss you off real good. Because you're going to waste a bunch of time trying to find them. And I'm lining it up based on the other screws around it. So far, it's got to be at least 20 screws. I'm not keeping an exact count. <laughs> There's a million in there, but just looking at it, it has to be 20 screws at least. Um, but let's say you do accidentally knock over your screws or you haven't been keeping track of them. How are you going to figure out the order? Well, Usually the longer screws go along the edges, the shorter screws go in the middle. This one is combination. Most of the shorter screws are in the middle, but you got two short ones that were here and here. I don't think that was just help hold in the motherboard. Now there are three, four screws here. And this could be to hold in some special brackets I have seen before. They're in the battery bay. So I'm going to try and hold out on those guys there until I can get into the insides of this guy a little bit more. Sometimes the clip here 